Hi guys, welcome to another episode on the RSSI tracker. Um, a lot of people were asking uh, about what it would be like in noisy RF environments, um, somewhere where there would be a lot of trees in the way, for instance. So Tommy has been out. Uh, he'd got one of his friends who was a bit of a sceptic about the system um, to fly it. And as you can see in the bottom centre image, uh, there is a, uh, a 200 milliwatt uh, transmitter, video transmitter, with a very poorly rubber duck type antenna on there. Uh, now, as you can see in the video, at some points on the left hand side there, which is the um, this is the clover leaf to rubber duck setup, the image drops out absolutely completely and the guy has to punch out just to get the signal back whereas on the right hand side although uh, there is some break up due to the very very noisy RF environment this is on the side of a trading estate there's tons of uh, RF noise there's overhead power cables this is kind of a worst case scenario um, video you're still getting relatively good um, image quality throughout and uh, I think when the guy comes to land this he kind of sums up uh, his thoughts between the two flights that's what you want massive massive difference So next up, as you can see, we're now in a car park environment. Um, Tommy has taken it out to one of the worst car park um, for RF noise in his area. This guy flies uh, regularly at this car park and a few others. Um, the image on the right this time is the one from uh, a cloverleaf to cloverleaf setup, and the image on the left is from the RSSI Pro Track, and as you can see, um, even in this really noisy RF environment, the the picture on the left from the Pro Track is outstanding compared to the one on the right. And at this point here, I froze frame. Now, the image on the left is about 200 meters away through all that noise and all those posts and other um, sort of interference Fennel zone type objects. And the image on the right is literally about 60 feet away um, from the pilot. So you can see the difference there. I mean, massive, massive range in an RF noisy environment. The RSSI Pro Track is definitely going to be part of my armory when trying to get a good signal in a wooded area or a noisy car park environment like this. Now, there's just seven days left on the Kickstarter. They've got together around £10,000 of their £15,000 goal and it's really on you guys now to get involved at this stage to make this dream a reality. This is definitely a fantastic way to improve your signal and to get the best picture possible for a 5.8 system with low milliwatt transmission.